It has been 6 years since the iPhone 4 has been released. It was the last iPhone Steve Jobs saw released in 2010. Hey what's up guys, it's Average Asian Tech. And is the iPhone 4 still worth it? Is it obsolete? Today we're going to find out. So I stumbled across this video called Living with the iPhone 2G for a Week. Is it obsolete by the 8-bit guy? I will link him down in the description and he had a great system of rating the phone. The categories he put it in was 1. Voice calls 2. Text messages 3. Email 4. Video chat 5. Apps and games 6. Music 7. Movies 8. Connectivity 9. Camera and video And I will be adding my own category called the usability category. So let's start with the voice calls. Where there isn't much to say about this category because it's obviously a phone so it deserves a check on this category. Text messages are about the same. It can do SMS and iMessage. So another check on this one. Email is about the same as any other category. So another check. Video chat is available on this phone because it's the first ever iPhone with FaceTime as seen at Apple WWDC 2010. So check on this one. Apps and games is a different story though. Most apps were not installed because the iOS is out of date. But some of the apps I could get installed lagged out most of the time. But one thing I do use this iPhone for is emulators to play Pokemon and such. So I'm going to put a question mark in this category. Music is an easy category because you can always connect your phone to your computer and put songs on it. But if you were hoping to download Spotify, SoundCloud, or Pandora, it won't be possible at all. So I'll put a question mark in this one also. Movies is also a gray area. You can download movies on iTunes, but you can't download Netflix. But you can hit that putlock or 123 movies though. Just kidding kids, don't pirate. So I'll put a question mark in this one also. In terms of connectivity, you do have Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and the slower but usable 3G speeds. You can surf the web and watch YouTube videos with a little bit of lightness here and there. The iPhone 4 uses a 30 pin connector and has a headphone jack which some other iPhones don't have. So this passes. I don't have to go through the camera and video section because it functions but the quality kind of suffers compared to the newer iPhones, but not so much. So this deserves a pass. The usability of this iPhone is great for a 6 and almost 7 year old phone. As I said, it does lag out here and there, but it works. If you are a light phone user and make calls and surf the web occasionally, then this is the phone for you. This phone can be picked up less than $100 or maybe possibly under $50, unlocked in great condition. But something you may consider is a Moto E. You can pick the Ryzen variants and lock them to use on any carry. Another solid option is the iPhone 5S, which you can see in this video. The iPhone 4, in my opinion, has one of the best designs on any iPhone ever made. The iPhone 4 is still a good phone in today's time and age. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.